Namaste, hello again. This is the second part as the video got cut off. So I called it vulnerability, but maybe now we go in some other aspects of what is the present situation? Where are we at? How do we feel? And how do we handle everything that happens in ourselves and around us, close around us, and maybe also all around us, like um, in our country, in the world, how do we handle all these changes, all these challenges? And um, I'm very happy to be with you on this Sunday. We already did Ganapati invocation in the first part. And um, today I wanted to sing a song, which is a poetry of Santa Tukaram. Tukaram is a a famous uh, 17th century poet and mystic in uh, India, in Maharashtra. And um, his words are so poetic and so beautiful. They are they're often used in bhakti, in bhakti songs, in bhakti traditions. Bhakti is devotion, devoting yourself to something higher. This can be a god, this can be a guru, a master, a loved one in your life, this can be the whole humanity, often in your, your work, your service, your life towards the benefit of others. Um, it, it can have so many aspects and uh, honoring the nature around you and all these precious energies that are there to sustain life in us and in others and in every living creature, creature from the plant kingdom, the animal kingdom, and of course the human kingdom, which is supposed to develop into a divinely human kingdom. Like in the Satyuga, it is said that in the Satyuga, which is a long, long time ago time period, uh, Vedic scriptures describe about it. And there seems that people were free of ego and live, living happily, joyfully, and supportive on each other, with each other. And um, lots of those um, difficulties that we nowadays know were unknown at those times. Right now we are in the Kali Yuga, which is a darker, or some, day, some say even the darkest of, of time periods where um, people can develop a lot of um, difficult attitudes which usually grow out of fear because nobody from the root will be that. That's what I deeply believe. But there may be uh, reasons and former experiences which shape a very fearful or um, hateful, angry, divisive mind and uh, this is often most harmful on the person itself and then only on others because like one my master say uh, if you point on someone like you did wrong it's only one finger you point on the other four three at least fingers are pointing on yourself so that's a very good practice actually whatever you blame on others turn it around it's a lot of fun I can tell you from experience it's also a famous um, technique that is used in the work of Byron Katie I'm sure many of you are familiar with Byron Katie and the work it's called the work and it is a work and it works so and one of one of the famous tools is to turn around your um, opinion on something on towards yourself so that's if you want to figure out more about that, it's very easy to find. Um, just Google the work. And uh, I wish you the deepest, best experiences with that. I'm happy to share experiences also if anybody is interested. So, um, Tukaram, this song is called Adi Bija Ekale. So, this is Sanskrit, beautiful Sanskrit language, which I was so lucky to learn some basics at the Ayurvedic Institute where I studied Ayurveda in the past two years with Dr. Vasant Plat, a famous Ayurvedic teacher and doctor. He, he, he practices both in Albuquerque at the Ayurvedic Institute, which is in New Mexico, USA, USA 
And in Pune in India at the BIOA, and both places are amazing and worth figuring it out once travel, travel opens again. And usually once a year he's in Germany and in England to teach uh, summer classes there. And we, we, we just had this class for Germany in the last week on a webinar base. So um, that's, that's Eurobeat in Germany who made that possible, that we still could be with Dr. Lab, although um, we all cannot travel easily and not gather together in large groups. So figure it out. It's so many um, beautiful um, companies and movements now offer um, so many valuable options for webinars like also the Ayurvedic Institute and Eurovid if you want to hear more of Dr. Lad himself speaking. It's a very precious opportunity to be with him. So Adi Bijai Kali this is um, this happens to be also one of Dr. Lad's favorite songs, which I did not know before I, I was told um, later on. But I love this song because some friend of mine actually sent me a short, a short part of a YouTube video because there is a famous movie, very old black and white devotional movie, Hindi movie. Um, from 1936, I just saw, and I think it's called Santa Tukaram, so Holy Tukaram. And uh, it's a long movie and it's totally worth it. And there's, if you like a devotion, if you like bhakti and this tradition, um, it really touches your heart. It can, it can seem cheesy if, if you're not so open to it, so be careful, check it out. But maybe it's time to open your heart and, and see what, what, what really what happens in, deep in yourself if you um, stop the judging goggles. So these are my optic goggles today, but there is also this. I can mo remove them. That's the good thing. That's why I wear these strings. So I show you, I can easily see they're gone, but then I don't, I don't see too well. That's the situation. So I have these goggles and I can take them off, but we often have judgmental goggles, which we usually can't take off easily. So that's what most of the spiritual practices are working on to remove this, this judgment of ourself, of others, of the situation, and basically free the mind, clear the mind, purify it, purify it. And it's a real it's a real process because if you wanna if you wanna kind of hurry this process then you might end up suppressing and this maybe even have count like counter effects very bad effects also on yourself because emotions dr lad says emotion it wants to be in motion it wants to move i see a flow like this yeah so like the river, it flows to the ocean. So the emotion is in the river. It wants to flow to the ocean and there it dissolves in a pure bliss, whatever emotion it is. The, the, the second part of the coin is the bliss part. So behind hate, there is bliss or love. And behind anger, there's actually compassion and bliss. So there's always these these not opposites, but actually the true, the root, the root, the core of the emotion is love, which is not an emotion, but a feeling if it is, if it is pure, unconditional love. And all other feelings are emotions. So there is a difference between feelings and emotions. So we purify and wash our emotions in this river of practice in this river of life in a river of relationships because that's where we challenge the, the most and we we wash them and flourish them into a feeling which is not an emotion a feeling is a pure feeling is a true feeling and it doesn't leave an imprint and it doesn't consist of ego and it doesn't get hurt or hurt others it's a very very fine beautiful level of love that's what Maishi, Maishi Yogi he says it's the finest finest subtle level is the level of feeling and it's most important to not hurt or harm this fine subtle in Sanskrit it's sukshma sukshma 
subtle level in another person as well as in ourselves. Because this is very difficult sometimes to heal because it is such a delicate flower. This is an expression of Dr. Lagerbrand, a delicate flower. So we want to be loving and careful with ourselves and with others. It is not always possible. Often, often we, we are just reacting instead of responding. It means we are rushing from ego or from subconscious, whatever comes up, we just spit it out. We feel we, it's not in our control and sometimes it really is not. That it just things go too fast. So never ever blame yourself, whatever happens. Whatever you said to someone, it's never too late to give an apology, even if the person is not open for, to, for it. Then you can do it in yourself and in your, in the, you can send it out into the universe to reach that person if the person is allowing to receive it. So you can do the, the work on, on yourself, in yourself. You don't need to wait for the other person involved to participate because this may never happen. So don't wait, just start. And um, so Adi Vija Ikalu, it's um, Adi is the first, the first, and Vija is the seed. There is a seed mantra, Vija mantra. These are those one syllable mantra, very, very powerful. So Adi Vija Ekalu, first there was a seed, or it all began with a seed. With a, yeah, that goes, I don't know the other words for seed in English. There's many words in German. So I'm sure you know in your language. Adi Vija Ekalu, it all started with a seed, or like a baby, an embryo, something like that. Very. I think Kalala, we say in Sanskrit also, I'm not sure in the, lit in the literature. So this first gathering of something where everything is already um, in, in included in it. So the, the whole tree is there in the seed, uh, sibling, I think, seedling, something is the word. So the whole tree is already there, but would you ever see a tree in this small little thingy? You would not, but it is there and it already has all the prakriti, all the form, all the different gunas, the qualities and the elements are there to, to make it grow with the water and sunlight and rain and everything which is, which is needed to, to make a life, a, growing, a growth happen. Same as the cell in our body needs the, the cellular agni, the cellular fire of metabolic activity to transform to grow into its right form and same to transform our food the food which is often very it's not often always whatever you eat is very foreign substances initially to our body but the body is able in a very very um, fascinating process um, to transform to absorb digest and assimilate those those food particles into um, basically lastly into consciousness that's a famous expression also dr lad how he explains how food is transformed into consciousness so well, i'll talk more because there i need to draw a diagram more we'll talk more about that another time and of course you'll find it in dr lad's books on ayurveda dr wasant lad's books so Adi Bija Ekale, it all began with a seed. Bija Ankurale Rupa Vadalu. Bija again the seed. Ankurale. Ankurale is something like anchor. So once the seed was anchored in the ground, Rupa Vadalu, then the different roots were grown. And Ega Bija Poti Taru Koti Koti Chanmaketi Sumanupale. So for this one seed which we are talking about right now, it had to be taken so many millions and millions of births as preparation for that one to be ready where it is now, which could be seen as like a human birth like so many other births maybe behind that in different realms as a different beings 
and different states of consciousness before the, the opportunity, the very rare and auspicious opportunity is there to become a human being. I remember in a movie I once saw, I think it was a Tibetan documentary and a Tibetan grandma was, um, was uh, what is the word? She was working with rice grains to, to figure out the, the, the good ones, the bad ones. So she worked with those rice grains. And then to give an example to her grandchild who was sitting there looking at her, she had a needle and then she poured some of the grains and the top of the needle was facing up. And she said, now let's check how often a, one rice corn, one rice grain will uh, stop at the peak of the needle and sit there of course all of them they were just falling down on the needle imagine and they showed it kind of in slow motion in the movie it's a very beautiful um, experience i had when watching that long time ago and so in the slow motion sometimes you could see that the, for a moment a grain would rest on this peak of the needle for a moment and then also it would fall so this moment she was talking about could be the moment of taking a human birth among so many other births we take. So another opportunity to give gratitude to life, no matter how difficult it may be right now, but we are in a human body, we can progress, we can think about what is happening, we can, we can pray, we can practice, we can evolve, we can read spiritual literature. There's so many options and opportunities we have, which we may not have in other incarnations just to be aware of that uh, preciousness and the uh, rareness of a human birth. So then, Vyapuni Jagata Tuhi Ananta. Vyapuni Jagata, so omnipresent in the world, that's how, how we ended up translating it. We prepared that at the Institute with my classmates as a play, we sang it together and even played it. There was a dance of these seeds, how they woke up from the earth, how they grow up higher and higher, and then see that it culminates in that in the end, it is one Brahman in all. It is one being in all of these different, different forms. So we were showing these forms and for that we also made a beautiful, I could show it here, beautiful paper that my friend Maria, she was actually working on this to have the text here and the Sanskrit text and then the translation, we, we, we took different translations we had, first and foremost of course Dr. Lott himself, how he translates it and his dearest uh, venerable son Dr. Pranav Lati, who was my Sanskrit teacher, our Sanskrit teacher at the Ayurvedic Institute, such a blessing and so he gave us some really amazing uh, uh, translations, ideas, and so we put together um, a translation for this opportunity where we gave him the song, where we performed it for him as a present, as a gift. And so here we say, omnipresent in the world, Vyapuni Jagata, Vyapuni, omnipresent, Jagata, like born in this world. Ananta, you are the limitless one. So you, we can't count you, like how many forms and variations you will develop. And Bahu Vita Rupe Gesi Gesi Parianti Brahma Ekali. So that's manifesting in so many different forms. But in the end, Parianti, in the end, Brahma Ekali. In the end, this Brahman, Brahman is there, Ekali again. Like in the beginning, it says Adi Bija Ekali. In the end, it says Brahma Ekali. So the Brahma, the, the highest God consciousness, the creator, he is in each and every of these little seeds. And it's the same in all these seeds. It's just different expressions of it. That's how we say there is another simile, like when the, when the sun, there's only one sun, the sun shines. And then on a rainy day, there is maybe many puddles, small, big, cloudy, dirty, clear, whatever, different puddles. And in each of these little puddles, the sun will shine as a reflection. And it will have the nature and the appearance 
of the characteristics of this very puddle. But as I said, cloudy, clear, dirty, muddy, whatever it is, but it is the very one sun reflecting in all. So that's basically one of the big ideas in the Vedanta philosophy. There is only Brahman. It is one being in all of us. And sometimes we are lucky enough to get, get a glimpse of that. And then we feel in unity, maybe with ourselves in a moment of beauty, of deep, deep inner joy, not ego, happiness, but soul, joy, or with some other being where we feel so deeply connected that we get a glimpse of that, or very often in a community, in our family, in a group of people together, of, of friends, or in a, in a chanting class, of course, in a chanting group, kirtan, gatherings like satsang with a master, there it is very, very uh, common to get some glimpses of this feeling of unity because the master usually is in unity and just looking in his eyes connects you there. So cheerio to all the masters. I need to um, get a glimpse of water now. And then sing this song for you so that we don't get too long and we continue. And if you're interested, if you have any comments, please let me know in the comments below. Or you, you can write to me in, 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 under Pankaja Ayurveda at gmail.com. And Pankaja Ayurveda has two A in the middle meeting. Because the last one from Pankaja and the first one from Ayurveda, they, get, they go together. And I kept them as two A's. So Pankaja Ayurveda at gmail.com if you want to contact me for any questions or um, ideas what what you would like me to talk about or also any any if you feel anything was wrong I said then I'm very happy to learn and to hear about <coughs> your opinion or your experience with something and uh, soon I should have my website ready and then easier to to also be in real contact with each other one-on-one -on -one or in groups we will see how that develops so We'll sing Adi Bija Ekali and I'll, say, I'll, text the, I'll write down the text in the comment for now so that you can sing along and of course you can find it on the internet and you can find the movie free in YouTube, Santa Tukaram. Okay. Let's tune in together to sing about how the life comes into being and grows from the small, small seedling seed into the variety of opportunities, into the fullness of life and back into the small, small seed. And in the whole transition of being one big pounding heart. Adi Bija Ekali Adi Bija Ekali Eka bija poti, 
Peru koti koti Chan magheti sumane vale Koti chan magheti sumane vale Koti chan magheti sumane vale Via puni jagata Via puni jagata tu ananta Via puni jagata tu ananta Bahu vita rupa kesi kesi Pariyanti brahma ekale Pariyanti brahma ekale Pariyanti brahma ekale Jai Mahadev. So with this song, I honor my masters, my guru. I bow down to them. And I send love and gratitude to all my classmates, precious memories when we practiced and sung this poetry together. And thank you to my friend E.G. who made me familiar as all with this movie, with this poetry. Thank you, my friend. And um, thank you everybody who was involved in that process at the Institute for a very ma magic moment we created together. And for everyone watching and singing with me, thank you so much. And uh, may this song bless your life, bless your momentary situation, and heal whatever needs to be healed. And um, I'm, I'm very humble, feel very humble to share this with you. And very grateful that you take your time to listen to a lot of words and a lot of Vedic sounds, and may they be beneficial and auspicious for you and mm, I my apologies for any mistakes I ever make speaking freely from my heart without censoring from my mind this has many benefits but it can have disadvantages as mistakes so I apologize for those and um, I love you all and I hope we we see each other soon in person and on screen. There is not so much of a difference. There is a difference, but we're so lucky. I feel so lucky and happy that we have this opportunity to be together. So I end with keep in touch because that's how we keep in touch. We are not alone. You are not alone. I'm not alone. Thank you. Namaste.